Michigan center Mason Cole talks about New Year's Day matchup playing South Carolina in Outback Bowl. Angelique S. Chengelis Michigan's making a third straight bowl trip to Florida, but the Outback Bowl will be the second for sophomore running back Chris Evans, photo, David Gurlnick slash Detroit News. Michigan got the New Year's Day bowl it wanted and was pleased. Michigan State didn't get the bowl it wanted, and deserved, and was rightly miffed, although the Spartans might have gotten something just as good more fuel. Oh, the rest of college football can have its silly little controversy that isn't really a controversy. Alabama over Ohio State for the fourth playoff spot was the right call, based on the long-established criteria that a team can't make the field with a 31-point loss to Iowa. End of argument and start of argument. The trickle-down effect from the Big Ten's playoff blanking hit the Spartans where they've been hit before, and when you wonder why they chew on disrespect as if it's a protein bar, this is why. Michigan State, 9-3, had a better record and a tidy 14-10 victory over Michigan, 8-4, yet was assigned a less prestigious game, the Holiday Bowl in San Diego, to face Washington State, 9-3, on December. 28 more. Peters to start when UM faces South Carolina in Outback Bowl. Michigan heads to the Outback Bowl, a January. One staple, and gets to face less imposing South Carolina, 8-4. So to recap Michigan State has the better record but gets the tougher trip and the tougher opponent. Is it a slight worth chewing on? Sure. Is it a heinous, calculated slap at Mark D'Antonio's program? Not really. It's the screwy nature of the Bulls, compounded by Ohio State's victory over Wisconsin, which knocked the Badgers down to the Orange Bowl. In one of those selection quirks you never hear about until it's too late, the Citrus Bowl isn't allowed to take a Big Ten team if one is playing in the Orange Bowl. So the Spartans, who appeared headed to Orlando for a January. One matchup with LSU were bumped not because they are perennially disrespected, but because of the rule. By then, the Outback already had grabbed Michigan figuring Michigan State would land in the Citrus, as expected and wasn't inclined to tear up its plans, knowing the Wolverines draw a huge TV audience. In a perfectly fair system, Michigan State would have slid over to the Outback Bowl and Michigan would have gone to the Holiday Bowl, but nothing about the bowl system has ever been perfectly fair. Fairness is the goal in selecting the four-team playoff, and I think the committee got it right. The rest of the bowls are about ticket sales and ratings, and according to the network numbers, Michigan is one of the biggest TV draws in the country. All that said, the Spartans still are allowed to be annoyed, and several players tweeted out their disappointment. From linebacker Chris Frey, what's the point of playing a regular season if bowl decisions are made regardless of record? Michigan State and Brian Lewerke are embracing the Holiday Bowl, even though they had a great case to get the Outback Bowl bid. Photo, Clarence Tab Jr.